so the international court of justice released a verdict in the kulbushan jadav case so today i'll be talking about the same what is icj's verdict in the kulbushan jadav case the international court of justice the icj ruling in favor of india comes as a breather for indian effort to seek the release of kulbushan jadav the icj ruling which instructs pakistan to suspend the death sentence and directing the latter to review the death sentence with full access to available legal remedies apart from the consular access to india comes as a respite to our nation in the recent times indian legal experts have been forced to move the icj during the past two years when consular access to kulbushan sudhir jadav was repeatedly denied and rejected by pakistan on one pretext or another Pakistani military establishment has described Jadhav as a spy who was working on creating disruptions in Balochistan, Balochistan re, uh, through rebels challenging Pakistani establishment in the region on the other hand India continues to maintain that Jadhav was a former naval officer and was kidnapped from neighboring Iran and sentenced to death on charges of espionage and terrorism after a close trial in April 2017 India's challenge mainly to Pakistan's military court was on the count that his sentence was based on an extracted confession adding that it was repeatedly denied consular access in breach of Vienna Convention now what is the Vienna Convention on diplomatic relations the 1961 Vienna Convention on diplomatic relations outlines the rules of diplomatic law the convention codifies the rules for exchange and treatment of envoys between states which have been firmly established in customary law for hundreds of years It has become an almost universally adopted convention with 179 states party to it. The Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations is fundamental to the conduct of foreign relations and ensures that diplomats can conduct their duties without threat of influence by the host government. As stated in the preamble of the convention, the rules are intended to facilitate the development of friendly relations among nations irrespective of the differing constitutional and social systems. The purpose of such privileges and immunities is not to benefit the individuals but to ensure the efficient performance of the functions of diplomatic missions. In this case, the ICJ ruled that in denying consular access to Jadhav, despite him repeatedly seeking the same, Pakistan violated the Vienna Convention as Article 36 of the Vienna Convention makes consular access a norm for detained nationals of other foreign countries. Now, first we need to understand what is the meaning of consular access. As I stated before that Vienna Convention on Consular Relations of 1963 provides a structure for consular relations between nations. Now a consul protects the host country's interests. In this case, it became imperative for Mr. Jadhav to be given consul access in this case for a fair trial. By giving Mr. Jadhav such access, it will ensure that a side of the uh, story is presented before the court of law without prejudice or suppression of facts. The convention mandates that the receiving state in this case Pakistan should without delay inform the consular post of sending state which is India if within its consular district a national of the state is arrested or committed to prison or to custody pending trial or is detained in any other manner the court also directed Pakistan to provide effective review and reconsideration of conviction and sentences now what is India's reaction to this verdict Though the decision does not ensure the return of Mr. Jadhav for now, it has been a big shot in the arm for the Indian government. Encouraged by it, the Indian side will draft a way ahead for finally bringing back Mr. Jadhav home. Meanwhile, on the other side, it will be difficult for Pakistan to not abide by the ruling as the court's final verdict holds an immense international weight. Pakistan might even use this as an opportunity of showing magnanimity by releasing Mr. Jadhav as a confidence-building measure. Time and again, Imran Khan, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, has reiterated the idea of new Pakistan. The current situation acts as unpre- unpre- unprecedented opportunity to uh, prove the same to the world. So, with this, we come to the end of our video. If you liked it, do share, uh, do share it with your friends. So, with this, we come to the end of our video. If you liked it, do subscribe to our channel and do share this video with your friends.